Now in a game like Warframe, killing huge groups of enemies, huge, as fast as humanly possible and as efficiently as possible is exactly what you want to be aiming for. You don't want to be that one Warframe player sitting at the back or your pink Excalibur looking fabulous darling, killing one thing at a time. It's all right lads, listen, you do all the killing, I'm just gonna fucking look good. Now having the option to add something extra to your arsenal to speed up your nuking capability is always a welcome feckin' thing. And this one is definitely a little bit of an anomaly. <laughs> now yesterday's Warframe video was all about Magus Lockdown or Magus Lockdown, whatever way you pronounce the Magus, Magus, Magus. One of the new Vox Solaris Arcanes, it's pretty damn good. It's a tether mine that creates an extra sleep effect that also detonates for a lot of damage to enemies that are linked to it. But today we're gonna to take a look at one of the alternatives, which is Magus or Magus Anomaly. And I'm gonna keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. Now, you can buy this arcane off Little Duck in Fortuna in the back room for 100,000 rep. 10,000 rep for each one of them and you need 10 to make a full set. Now Little Duck is in the room where you get the Orb Mother bounties, so that's where you can interact with her. And thankfully these arcanes come already crafted, unlike the ones in Cetus, which for whatever reason still haven't been changed yet, which I guess a lot of things with Cetus need to be brought up in line with Fortuna because the arcanes you purchase there you need to actually craft and it takes a lot of fucking materials. Now, Magus Anomaly, I'm gonna call it Magus, don't care, don't care, I know there's someone gonna be going, excuse me, but I think you'll find it's actually Magus. Magus Anomaly will pull all enemies inside 20 meters towards you when you phase into your Tenno. So when you switch into your Tenno mode, it will pull all enemies inside that 20 meters towards you, and you can just pop in and out and keep dragging them right to the center. It's basically a giant Henry de Hoover. <laughs> it's a giant vacuum that drags enemies in, groups them up for you to kill as quickly as possible. Perfect if you like running with melee weapons. Now it sounds very similar to Void Singularity in the Xenuric Focus School, pretty much does the same thing. And if anything, some of these arcanes, the new ones of Little Duck, could work very, very well with the traits from certain focus nodes. Like grouping up as many enemies as you can with arcane anomaly, or maybe you've got anomaly and lockdown equipped together. So you could group them up and link them with that tether mine and then strip them with armor using the Inairu Void Dash ability. So you could dash through those enemies twice, because I think it does 50% each dash, and it will literally strip all of those enemies of armor, which means then when the tether mine blows up, it has a chance to one-shot them. Now, if you want, you could also combine it with certain explosive weapons. This is Arcane Anomaly, that is, or area of effect weapons, weapons that have a very large range of kill potential. You could group them up and kill everything in that group in one go. The Archiplasmor with its wide plasma round could be perfect for this. The Ignis Wraith, a catch moon kit gun as well. Maybe you want to drop a Xenostar disc down on the ground and drag as many enemies into it as you possibly can, especially if you've modded it for blast with crowd control as well, so you get a little bit of fun in there at the same time. Or you could combine it with certain Warframe abilities to help maximize their effects, like say Magnetize from Mag, drag enemies into that big bubble, Ember's big burning ring, <laughs> Bladestorm with Ash, Nyx could pull as many enemies in on top of her as she possibly could get and then jump into Absorb to try and maximize it. I mean, Magus Anomaly is very good, but the question that a lot of you were asking on yesterday's video who run with double arcanes have kind of echoed some of my own thoughts. Why would I drop out an arcane elevate for this, or if you're running double elevates, why would you drop one of them out for one of the new Magus Arcanes? It's a hard bloody choice. Elevate is so fucking good. It gives you a chance to regenerate 200 health when you phase to your Tenno mode, and basically you can just spam it until you're back up at max health in a few seconds, and it procs a lot. So you can, of course, get instant heals. Now, you can equip two of these new Arcanes at a time, and both Anomaly and Lockdown are very, very good. Anomaly feels perfect if you're running melee-centric frames, Valkyr and so on, 
and maybe lockdown just feels good for absolutely everything especially with the amount of crowd control you get from it not to mention the damage that it throws out as well now let me know in the comment section below what you think of this arcane as opposed to the lockdown one yesterday i am looking at the new amps as well and having a video on them very soon as well as having my nyx rework video to do so stay tuned for them do me a huge favor hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching